Welcome back to Rogue Nah. And today we'll be doing Halloween nails. I have Deborah here with me. Hi guys. And this is only stuff that I have for Halloweenish occasions. And I definitely wanted to kind of go a little bit more in depth that I haven't done in other videos. So these little metallic metal plates that you see here, they are what we call stamping plates. And the purpose for these is that if you see the images, you're able to stamp these directly on your nails. So stuff like pirate skulls. Like I said, I have a lot more, like a ton more, but these are specifically the ones I wanted to show today to kind of demonstrate how they work. And we have the mat, we have my nails, we have Deb's nails. So we're going to have a lot of fun and educate you guys on my collection of stamping goods. <laughs> so for basic starters, you need a plate. Most of these I got online. Some, when I first started, my dad actually bought me some. One like this one was from the Conat kit. So something like that I was able to buy with him in person. Um, Conad was one of the first companies that I think, in my opinion, were the ones that started this little trend of stamping things because that's like the first that I ever had. And then with that also came a few polishes, not the ones you see here because these I actually spent good money on because they're great for stamping. Um, the polish is really smelly for these, I should say that. But the ones that came with the Conat, it was trying some because it sometimes didn't grab, didn't grab at all, or didn't show through the colors. So that's why we're using these today so they can shine and show better. Along with the stamps came something like this. So if you guys take a look at this one, it's a stamper. Back in the day, they used rubber stamping. So that's how, that's why you see this one a little more matte compared to more of the newer stampers that we have which I will show also as well. But this is the one that you use to pick up the image with, right? It also used to come with the scraper. Mind you, these I don't recommend using because if you see this plate, it's all scratched It up. worked at some point, but uh, during the long run, it's going to end up slashing. That's not the best. Nowadays, they actually give you something like this. It's a little card scraper. Most of the time when you buy stampers, they, they kind of give you this as a, a little extra. So this one, we got, we got it at fabyournails.com. So I want to show you a few other stampers. I'm not a big fan of these jelly ones because it's probably because I don't have experience picking up things with it, but it's so oh, sticky. And maybe that is a good thing, but right, it's sticky. Yeah. And I see some people just kind of like roll it and pick it up. I can't roll this for the life of me and pick up anything. I swear. <laughs> then I have something like this one. This one's a more mattifying jelly, so it's not as sticky, but it, it kind of does the job. This one is one of my favorite. And there's ones. another one like this one where it has a bigger pot, a, a bigger circle, and then a smaller end one for smaller images because there are smaller images as you can see there. Then there's something like this one. These were like the second ones that came out into uh, motion after these rubbery ones. This one is rubbery, but not, uh, it's kind of squishy too. I don't know if you want to feel that, right? Yeah, so it's not, it's okay. I This one, I haven't mastered it completely either. Sometimes it goes and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, this one, however, again, because it's almost similar to this one, I was, I'm able to work with this one. So, and then the last one but not least is another jellyish one. This one I've had some success, not the greatest, but that's how it goes. And then the cool part about most of these, like this one, you can see through it. So that means you can see the image and then kind of plaster it on your nail. But again, it's a practice technique that I probably haven't mastered with the jellies. So we're going to practice and try that out today. See how that goes then i wanted to get into the nail polishes these they're a brand uh they're called mundo de uñas and you might see a few of them depending on which ones we use 
like this one this one is a much newer um logo for them when they first started out they didn't have that many uh they came out like this that didn't have anything on it and then we also like i said have these they actually did a good job by putting a black and white so you can see the color that you're gonna use and you could see that it works better on the light one so give and take trial and error but uh, again, these have a weird smell to them. It's they smell like car paint. So I heard I've never smelled car paint in my life, but or even like a strong uh, lacquer. That's what it smells like. Yeah, Deborah's like taking a whiff of it right now. So they are strong and pungent. If you're going to do anything with these, have some type of ventilation so that you don't kill yourself with the smell. And I have a bunch of them, so we should get going. Also, what you're going to need is this. And this is what it's going to do. Um, if you've seen one of my other previous videos, now we're going to use my cotton. Right? We're going to grab this bad boy, have it pre-done, so that way we're not in a rush of trying to do this. And we're going to ball it up here. You're going to grab it with this. And look, it is meant for like when your nails are done and you want to kind of like use acetone without putting your own nail at risk this is what it's for it's a cotton swabber tool get yours ready so that's what's pretty much going to happen she has another one that I had just bought from born pretty too i actually like that one it was really cute also last but not least you do need something to clean your stampers with so you'll see this once we start playing with these that uh, the image sometimes there'll be some leftover stuff you can take it out with this especially for these jelly ones because you're not supposed to put acetone on this you're not supposed to do anything that's going to damage this little rubber jelly part so you need something to take it off and clean it out uh, I do the same for these even though you are able to kind of like remove it with acetone I just try not to just to preserve the life of the stampers okay and that seems to be it and as we go along we will show you how everything works out for us and the stamps
these are the final project of our nails and I might have to do a fill soon because I see some parts I need to get filled. If you guys are also interested in my nails, I actually did these with uh, poly gel, which I'm not sure if you guys, I'm not sure if like the world knows about this a lot. I know they, Amazon tries to sell these a lot, but um, poly gel is like a mixture between acrylic and gel, and it's actually great to work with. That's the only reason why I'm actually good at doing these, because using acrylic or just gel is hard for me. I'm not, you know, a professional. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we shall have photos of our nails done on insta follow me there subscribe and see you on the next one bye, bye.